State your name, Nick. What are we doing? My name is Nick, and we're about to go uh, to space. You funny? All right, start it over. Un no, okay. Right now, I'm recording live. All right, right now I'm recording from Indiana. Where Right now, I'm recording live from Indiana. Indiana. Can't say live. Yeah, it is. Let's go. Can you see me? Yes, I'm recording. Yes, I'm okay. recording. Today is day one. We've discussed and we're settled on the idea of launching a balloon and attaching a camera to it uh, for one of our main videos that we're going to show in the movie theater. So today, the students are talking about how to get this done. Um, how high will it go? Uh, around 100 feet. high, hopefully. Yeah. Don't you need like permission from like the airport? That's yeah. Right. Yeah. Write that down. Um, simply because we're launching something so high, it probably means we're gonna need to talk to like the airport or the air force or somebody. Let somebody know that we're sending something up really high, so they don't hit it with a phone. <laughs> yeah. One of the first things that we needed to do was find out where the balloon was gonna land, and Danica here is uh, is gonna show us how. And I'm going to explain how we use the burst calculator and the landing predictor to figure out where it would land. Okay, so we bought this kit, bought the kit from Skyprobe, and they have a burst calculator and a landing predictor on their website. And so our payload mass, what, and which is the yellow box that has the camera and the GPS in it, is about two pounds. So that's 907 in grams, and our balloon was, was about 1,200 grams. So the point of using the burst calculator is to find the ascent rate. We already knew the balloon mass, payload mass, and how high we wanted the balloon to go, but however, the five meters per second ascent rate the balloon would have traveled to was too far as Jada is illustrating on the board. So we used the burst calculator to find the precise ascent rate based on the combined mass and target altitude, which turned out to be about eight meters per second. This meant the balloon would still travel as high as we wanted it to go, but wouldn't go as far. So, taking this information, we input into the land pre landing predictor, and we find the balloon should land about 200 miles from where we launched, which means that we should be able to launch it and retrieve it in about four hours. So we have the balloon kit, the camera, the helium reserved, and plenty of volunteers. So let's go. And that was the story of how we went to space. Highest elevation, 98,888 feet. Top speed, 178 miles per hour. Distance traveled, 157 miles.